how you doing? Justin here. Uh, in this lesson today we're going to be doing an introduction to harp harmonics, which is a really, really cool technique used by well, the master is kind of Tommy Emmanuel, but also uh, he learned most of his stuff from Lenny Bro and Chet Atkins. Um, and there's some great instructional stuff on this by Tommy Emmanuel out there on the internet. Uh, however, he kind of goes pretty quick. So what I'm going to do in this is just really break down really slowly what it is that you're doing and how to kind of get started with this technique and I'll do some more advanced lessons on this some other time. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the, the general procedure for practicing this. Now it's predominantly a uh, plucking hand or for most people your right hand technique. So one of the things that I use to when I'm practicing this is I use a capo rather than having to hold a chord shape for a long time. So um, I'm going to recommend that you use a capo at the fifth fret and we're going to be using a regular A chord, which is kind of like using a capo but putting down an E chord. Pretty straightforward everyday chord. Um, you could of course use a regular A shaped bar chord for this, um, but like I said, just because you're going to be practicing it for a while, it's kind of easier to use a capo, at least that's what I do when I'm practicing it. So um, the first thing you need to figure out is how to actually make the harmonic. Now, the harmonic in this is done kind of with a classical style by touching your first finger exactly 12 frets above the note that's fretted. So if we look at what the notes are here when we're playing our regular, kind, of, it's an A chord, right? It's an E shape, but it's an A chord because we've got the capo on at the fifth fret. Um, the fret numbers would be 5, 7, 7, 6, 5, 5. So what we have to do is we have to touch with our, the, our, the tip of our first finger very lightly, exactly 12 frets above the note, and you're going to pluck from behind with your thumb. So let's go to a close-up now of, of uh, having a specific look at how this uh, technique is going to work, because it is a little bit uh, difficult to understand until you see it close up. So we're going to do it nice and slow, and uh, let's go to a close-up now. Okay, here we are. I've got a little uh, logo thing here on my 17th fret. So this fret here is the 17th fret, and what we're going to start off with is touching the first finger just on the fret, not pressing it down like fretting the note, just really lightly touching it. And with, you can see my thumb here behind. I'm going to pluck the string. I'll just turn the amplifier up a little bit here. So you can see there, all, the, the first exercise I think you should do is just plucking with your thumb behind the note and then, so it'll be 17th fret, 19th, 19, 16, 17, 17. That's the first technique. You really want to practice that up a little bit first and get used to being able to get a nice, clear harmonic. Now the harp part becomes a little bit more interesting. Now we start to look at the actual harp effect. What we're going to be doing is plucking a note with the hum, playing the harmonic, and then plucking a note with the third finger Different people use different fingers for this. I use my third finger. So plucking here the harmonic and then plucking the third string there with the third finger. Work a little bit on that first. Get used to the feeling of it. Then when you're ready, we're going to try and go all the way up. So we'd go harmonic, pluck the third string, harmonic now at the seven, uh, 19th fret, and then pluck the second string, then harmonic again at the 19th fret, this time on the fourth string, then the thinner string. So maybe just try that first. Then we go here, harmonic, on the third string, we pluck the thinner string again, harmonic on the fourth string, pluck the second string, Harmonic on the fifth string, play the open uh, th third string, oh, this is complicated, and then we're back at the start again. It's a really nice effect, just you have to do this stuff really slowly. Don't be afraid of having to look on, having to look at, especially at this speed. It's kind of complicated to do it slowly. And then you would 
practice. Let's just have another look at that from another angle. Now, I'm going to tuck my second finger here right away so you can kind of see what I'm doing, but I don't normally do that. I normally leave it out. So just really slowly, we'll be doing harmonic, pick, harmonic, pick, harmonic, pick, harmonic, pick, harmonic, pick, harmonic. second finger let my second finger out of the way just because it's it's too hard to do it with the second finger tucked up like that so for the next exercise it really makes a difference when you start changing the chord shapes on that what you're trying to avoid really is notes that are the same now this chord has got lots of different notes in it um, as you can see I've got the capo here at the 5th fret I've got my 2nd finger down in the 6th fret and my 3rd finger down on the 6th fret as well on the 2nd uh, string um, and that gives us it's a very nice chord now of course you can play this without the capo the capo is only there to be able to practice so of course you can be playing the chord shape like this with a full bar um, full bar there that's just reaching over and it looks like it's flat but it is is actually only holding that six string I recommend first of all just going through and plucking the harmonics so we'd have here the 18 17 17 17 18 17 So this one, if we just do it again, the same pattern now. Do take your time. Remember that the trick to doing this properly and smoothly is practicing it really, really slowly. Um, I still work on this and I'm still trying to find new ways to do it. There's loads and loads of great uh, Tommy Emanuel things around it. There's some really cool uh, instructional videos of him explaining it as well. But he goes pretty quick and you don't really get a close up of what his hand's doing so even I have to rewind the tape a few times if I'm going to try and nick his licks. Um, so, hope you had a bit of fun with that and I'll see you for another lesson sometime real soon. I forgot to mention, um, I'm going to stick a whole bunch of the different cool chord shapes to practice with this stuff up on the website. So. Go and have a look at the web page for this lesson and uh, you'll find a whole bunch more tips on that as well. Um, and keep watching this channel because I'll be doing some more advanced videos on this sometime real soon. Take care of yourselves. See you soon. Bye bye.